Palestinians are used to mourning their martyrs. This could be the first time they've grieved publicly for a Jew. <laughs> Giuliano Merhamis was Israeli, the son of a Jew and a Palestinian Christian. He lived and in April this year died for the Palestinian cause. But it was a Palestinian who murdered the celebrated actor and director, an act that could signal the start of a deadly conflict over culture. What sort of impact does this murder have on people who want to work in the theatre in Palestine? Are people scared? I think most, most of them, yes. Most of the people are scared and uh, there is a, a, a good reason to, to be scared. Giuliano became famous as an actor in the 1980s, but he played almost as many roles in life as he did on stage and screen. His mother's family were well-known Zionists, while his father was an Arab intellectual and prominent communist. Once a paratrooper in the Israeli army, Giuliano played Arabs and Jews with equal ease. He tackled everything from a seedy drug dealer to a sexy Bedouin. You're not allowed to make camping here. In the award-winning Palestinian film, Salt of the Sea, he played an Israeli teacher. <laughs> Come, this is my student. I teach them history. But Giuliano's sympathies and those of his Jewish mother lay with the Palestinians. These are scenes from Anna's Children, an award-winning documentary Giuliano directed and featured in. Anna was his mother, and the film told the story of her work with Palestinian children in the Jenin refugee camp. In 1989, Giuliano helped her establish a theater for the kids and taught them drama. كنا نحسب يهودي ياخذ منا معلومات يعني انه مثلا نوديها للاحتلال فكرنا جاسوس للاحتلال احنا بالضبط يعني و... يعني تحكي عني اه عنا فكرت انه انا جاسوس للاحتلال اه عن جد اه عن جد The theatre project was abandoned after Anna's death from cancer, but Giuliano returned during the second intifada to find out what had happened to the children. Some of the fiercest fighting took place in Jenin, where the Israeli army flattened much of the refugee camp. Many of the former actors had become militants. <laughs> Years after this boy appeared in Giuliano's play, he was killed during a suicide attack inside Israel. Another was killed fighting the Israeli army during the Battle of Jenin. And this boy later became one of the leaders of the resistance. He too died a violent death. Now Giuliano's become Janine's latest martyr. His poster adorns the wall of the Freedom Theatre, which he started after the success of his documentary. He saw the theatre as an alternative to the armed struggle that claimed so many of his students' lives. And in March this year, he was brimming with optimism. <sighs> الجو والهواء من الثورة العربية اللي عملها بتصير بليبيا في مصر في تونسيا فاتت في بواب مسرح الحرية. On the 3rd of April, Giuliano was at another theatre in Ramallah for the opening night of a play he directed. He was excited and a little mischievous. والأهم إشي الرسالة وصلت. 
رسالة وصلت رسالة المسرحية اسألني شو الرسالة The following morning, Giuliano was gunned down in Janine as he drove home from the Freedom Theatre. Hearing gunshots, one of his students, Rabia Turkman, rushed outside. A lot of blood down at Giuliano. And everybody he shout, he has a voice. I tell him, wait, Giuliano, he, I think Giuliano, he died because a lot of blood. The killer was masked and disappeared into the narrow alleys of the refugee camp. They killed him. We don't know is it, if they are from the camp or if, if they are outside the camp. Until Two weeks now, later, we don't, don't staff and students at the theater are still being interviewed by a constant flow of foreign journalists. Um, I, I am also like in the shock because I feel that, okay, the killer is between us. Maybe, maybe this guy or that guy or that. There had been threats to the Freedom Theater before. In 2009, their production of George Orwell's Animal Farm sparked controversy, partly because of its veiled attack on the Palestinian Authority, but mostly because some conservative Muslims were offended by the actors dressing up as pigs and dogs. At the time, they tried to burn down the theater twice. And there was also some direct threats against certain people at the theater, including Joel. Giuliano's widow, Jenny, pregnant with twins, fled to the Israeli city of Haifa on the day of his murder. Originally from Finland, Jenny also worked at the theater. We always tried to push the, the boundaries a little bit not too far, not to be obvious, but to, you know, always another step. <laughs> Did Giuliano then have a very good sense of where the line was at any given point? That's what we thought, at least. Jenny says that after the backlash to Animal Farm, Giuliano talked about the possibility of being killed. It started at that time of the threats. You know, and then it became more of a joke. Uh... After his murder, Israeli television broadcast footage of Giuliano's grim prophecy. Anigmo, we have, I, I'm telling them about how I'm gonna end my life. A bullet from a fucked up Palestinian who's gonna be very angry that we are in Jenin with this blonde coming to corrupt the youth of the Islam and he's gonna and she's gonna find me dead on the doorstep. Giuliano described the Freedom Theatre as part of a third intifada or uprising, a cultural intifada. He taught his students that actors could be just as dangerous as militants. One day he told me, if you want to be a star, just give me one month. I, I make you biggest star in the world, not just in Palestine. Just one month. But Rabia, I don't want you to be a star. I, I want you to be freedom fighter with art. Art Revolution. Rabia Turkman, who starred in several of Giuliano's productions, knows a lot about revolution. Rabia Talib Tirimia, Hussam. You know that Rabia Turkman, he was a freedom fighter and he decided to put down the weapons and take up stage. How different would your life be now if you didn't join the theater? 
Maybe I'm maybe now I'm in prison. Maybe I'm dying. Maybe in prison, maybe in the guard. So the theater has saved your life? Yeah. In the Freedom Theatre's last production, Alice in Wonderland, Batul Taleb played Alice. At first, her parents had tried to stop her from acting. Many in Janine still disapprove of a young woman on stage. It's like, oh, you're going to the Freedom Theatre. What are you going to do there? Oh, here come the theatre girl. And, you know, I, I was the first girl in the acting school. It was very, like, Pressure. Janine is a conservative place, and a scene like this can shock people here. Batul says, bring it on. We're not here to make people uh, just love us. We want to make people like, you know, to... to Provoke? Yeah, for them to, to express themselves. Would, would any of you have considered dressing up as a pig in front of your neighbours before you met Giuliano? No, I didn't think like this before, but you know, Giuliano was also part of our dream. Like, I came here with a small dream, like, I want to be on stage. It was simple, it was nothing to do with revolution, nothing to do with the occupation. <laughs> like, it was, it was just a dream, small dream. And when I came here, I found that it's, it's, it's not just about being a star. Now I don't want to be a star. I want to be a freedom fighter. I want to break free. I want After Animal Farm, the controversy around the theater seemed to fade away. There were no more attacks or threats. Almost 10,000 people went to see Alice in Wonderland, but in its own way, this children's story was no less subversive. The Palestinian Alice visits Wonderland after rejecting an arranged marriage. Do you think, looking back, that maybe it wasn't a wise thing to do? <laughs> if it comes at such a cost, if it, if it maybe even costs you the theatre? You know, like, I would do Alice even if I knew that will happen. Janine remains a dangerous place for actors. There are two flyers circulating here now, written by militant groups no one's ever heard of. One group calls itself Your Religion's Zealous Sons, the other Free People of This Earth. One flyer says, we call upon the parents in the refugee camp not to send their sons and daughters to this suspicious theater, whose only goal is to spread corruption and Western culture. Are you hopeful that they will find the killer? Not very. Really? Um... He was killed in the middle of Janine refugee camp in broad daylight. It's impossible nobody saw the killer. It's impossible nobody knows who it is. For now, the theatre is closed, although many students still turn up. Some have parents who wish they'd stay away. Your mother's very worried about you coming yeah, here. Yeah, she doesn't want, she's not just worried, she doesn't want me to come here. Like, she feels like that the one who killed Jewel, he will kill everyone, has a relationship with Jewel. 
and to the theater. I wish that I can die like she'll die, really. What, what do you mean? Yeah, he died, he, he didn't die for, for nothing. Like he was a fighter, he was an artist. And I really, I don't want to die like a car accident or something. I want to die like, to die like him, really. I, I'm thinking this all the time. If I have to die, I want to die like this, I'm sure. Like, 